What's up, stalemates? Guess what? We're back, baby. Day two, Willy Watch coming right at you. Today was a good one. Today was another good one. It's going to be another big day for stalemates. But first, don't forget to hit subscribe, comment, like, share it with your friends, tweet it, follow us at Stalemate Show. Email us, stalemateshow at gmail.com, or check out our website, www.stalemateshow.com. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Thanks for watching. Guess what, stalemates? I just recorded the entire video. And then when I got done, I realized the entire video was out of focus. I literally did the whole thing. And then I put it on my computer and I went to check it out. And the whole thing was blurry. I got a new camera angle here. So you guys let me know if you like this better. Uh, I decided to get my other camera out and try it out. And I don't really know how to mess with the settings. Here's what happens. I buy these cameras and I just freaking start pushing buttons. And then I, next thing you know, it works or it doesn't. Anyways, here we are. Day two. Day two of the Willie trials. Day one was exciting. A lot of the evidence that was presented the first time around is also presented the second time around. So I'm not going to get into every single little detail like I did the first time. The first time the video was about 20 minutes long. This time it's going to be hopefully a lot shorter. I'm going to try to shoot from the hip a little bit more rather than present all the evidence like I did the first time. The first time was kind of like a court reporter. Uh, I had to tell you guys everything that kind of went on. Today, day two, it's pretty much the same thing except for the other side of the court, which would be Willie's side. So right off the bat, before Mr. Soltero, Willie's lawyer gets up there, Karen Flo's attorney tries to shut down the live stream. Basically, she wanted the live stream shut down because of you guys and me, people like you and me who put out memes, put out tweets, other people that made parody accounts, I promise you it wasn't me. I've already got enough going on where I can't keep up with that much. But somebody was making parody accounts. We were making memes. People were cracking funny jokes. This particular live stream had 244 active people watching it. Karen did not like that. She clearly pays attention or somebody near her pays attention to this. And she wanted it shut down. Willie's side basically said... That's not necessary. We deny that. And the judge said she agreed. She didn't think it needed to be shut down. The judge blessed us. That's a W for wrestling Twitter. That was a W to me. After that, Mr. Soltero goes up there and he starts questioning Willie. Willie is still on the stand. He's still under oath from the previous court day. Um, I believe that was last Thursday, I think, or Friday. I can't remember. Um, today is Monday. And basically... They try to go over the evidence that was already presented. And this time, it's Willie's time to defend himself. You will learn a system of self-defense that I developed over two seasons of fighting in the octagon. And so the, one of the first tweets that got brought up by the court was this tweet that Willie had put out about UWW cadet event that he wanted to put on. And under Willie's injunction, he cannot do that. And so they were questioning that. So did he or did he not? violate this injunction put on him by judge livingston shout out to livingston by the way she was on fire today she was no nonsense i think after day one she thought this case was so insane that she just wanted to get on with it and i think that was very evident anyways this uww cadet, this uw this uww cadet event that you um you had you you Willie said he was going to put on this event. He had tweeted it. I'll put a screenshot of the tweet if I can find it. They questioned him about that, whether or not he was going to do it or not. Regardless, the event didn't happen. Uh, I don't know if that was COVID related or what, but the event did not happen. Willie said that he actually was not going to put on the event, that he was going to help said guy, whoever this guy is, promote this event. So the guy said, hey, Willie, I want to put on this cadet event. I don't have the platform. You do, Mr. Saylor. You got however many Twitter followers that you said you had that first day or whatever. And he said, okay, I'll help you put it on. And Willie's defense is one, the event didn't happen. And two, this would be like the UWW is like the NFL. So this would be like someone saying, I'm going to put on an NFL game. 
well, you can't do that. You know, the UWW puts on their own events. The NFL puts on their own events. So Willie kind of shut that down. And right off the bat, Karen was objection, objection, objection. I object, Your Honor! To yourself? She was Miss Objection today. And to her defense, she ended up being right. A lot of her objections got sustained by Judge Livingston. A lot of them were Soltero kind of leading. I actually thought Soltero did a pretty poor job today. I don't think he was prepared. I think a lot of his questions were leading, and as soon as they got shut down, all of his kind of cards were played. So this first half, I kind of thought Karen was winning. I tweeted that. Some people disagreed with that. I'll talk about why I think she was winning. Soltero kind of wasted some time talking about, you know, these fantasy articles that were in question whether or not he's allowed to do that because, you know, at his time at Flow, they had done some fantasy wrestling articles, and then now he has done them. Willie points out that before, the fantasy articles were mainly about just Division One Nationals, where his fantasy articles now are going to be about or were about the entire wrestling season. So not just one event, but the entire year. So he states out that's how that's kind of different. Karen then talks about whether or not Willie sold t-shirts with the greatest mind in wrestling. She claims that Willie got paid 20%. Willie says, I never got a check for any of that. She says these shirts are still for sale online. She's trying to point out that he's trying to make money off of something that Flo helped him create, and that is the moniker of the greatest mind in wrestling. That brings us to our next point, the greatest mind in wrestling, crystal ball, big board, all these monikers that he's supposedly not allowed to use. And the first one is crystal ball. Willie says that's not something that is created by Flo. Um, he says that's something that's been around or something like that. The Greatest Mind in Wrestling. I think we already talked about that in the previous video. He also talks about the big board. He says that that was something that The Bachelor has even used. Everybody's used it. And then the last one is Match Notes. And he says that every sports journalist from Earth uses that. Willie, that was a good comment. I agree with you there. But Karen did have a W in this first half. Karen asked Willie whether or not he had used the term big board. Willie said he had not. So then Karen says, okay, okay, I got the receipts. She goes and finds an article, and in that article, she points out very specifically a time when Willie did use the term big board, and then which Willie responds like, oh, okay. So she kind of had Willie backed up against the fence a little bit, and if that isn't bad enough, Towards the end of this first half, Willie gets emotional, and I don't blame him. When you love the sport as much as he does, or anybody, you would get emotional too if somebody was stopping you from doing what you love in life. If you've ever had anything that you're passionate about in life, anything that stops you from that, it sucks. So, it was hard to watch. I think Karen did get a little enjoyment out of it because she wanted to make sure that the judge wasn't going to have her heart strings, her heart strings pulled. And so she says, okay, well, you, you do admit, you know, whatever it was. I admit. I just remember she kind of like was like, okay, I see that you're crying, but, you know, this is still court, buddy. So this first half, I actually thought Karen won. And that's not necessarily so much on her behalf or anybody else. Somebody had also tweeted this at me. And that was more so Soltero, Willie's lawyer, kind of dropping the ball. And I agree with that. A lot of his aces that were up his sleeve were all misleading questions. And so he never really got around to his point. Willie did defend himself a couple times, pointing out some stuff. But nothing really new today that wasn't already explained by Willie from the first time around. And so... Karen had backed Willie up with the big board evidence, a couple other stuff, a lot of the stuff that we've already talked about. Willie gets emotional. He starts crying. We go to break. And just when you think you have Willie 
dead in the rights. In walks Superman himself, Mr. Martin Florini. We come back from break, and this guy puts Karen in an absolute body bag. Get him a body bag! Yeah! Right. right from the jump. You know, Willie goes by the greatest mind in wrestling. This guy's the greatest mind in the room. Or the Zoom call. These tech people, they're smarter than everybody else. I think you got three kinds of smarts nowadays. You got the medical field smart people. You got the lawyer, the law, smart people. And now we have these freaking tech wizards. And when you're dealing with this stuff right here, this whole tech stuff, you don't stand a chance, Karen. Matter of fact, Martin was so on today that there's a couple of times that their own lawyers tried to stop him from talking. And he talked over them because he was so confident that he could answer the question appropriately. And if you watch Karen's demeanor from the way that she was attacking, attacking, attacking Willie, and then as soon as Martin comes in, he says, no, 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 you're in my world now. Okay, we're talking tech. You're in my world now. She, oh, you should have seen her. She was getting her papers, shuffling through them. Um, um, okay, uh, well, let's try this. Let's try that. It wasn't working. Martin had her in a body bag from the beginning. I'll give you some examples. She kept bringing up this Penn State event. Is Rockfin going to put on this Penn State event? And the reason she kept bringing it up is she wanted to talk about live streaming. She was trying to say that Willie could not live stream an event because of his injunction, which is true. He cannot put on some sort of event. So she was trying to say that. And she asked Martin, she says, are you, are you putting on this event? He says, no. And he said, well, what's this event going on with Penn State? He says, Penn State's not putting on an event. She said, okay, well, do you know who Kyle Sanderson is? She meant Kale. Uh, he said, yes, I do. Basically, he said, but that has nothing to do with Willie or Rockfin. This is, this is absolutely not true. And there's an objection sustained. So we shut that one down. She kept bringing it up over and over and over. Matter of fact, Kale just tweeted because the cat's out of the bag. He tweeted September 19th. You got to think that's what was the subject here. We got to think that's what we were talking about. Nevertheless, Martin shut it down. She then says, okay, well, as you know, she's shuffling through papers trying to find the next thing she's going to bring up. She says, Willie's book. Have you read it? He says, I have not, but I look forward to it with a little bit of a grin. Still killing the game. And these last two things is where it gets kind of important. And, and I want to preface this. I preface the last video saying I'm not a legal expert. I'm still not a legal expert. And I want to also say I am not a tech expert. So I'm going to try to get this right as much as possible. I'm not a court reporter. I'm literally just an idiot with a camera and a YouTube channel. So microphones, here we are. So the first thing that they talk about here that's kind of important is this email stuff. Apparently, Martin had met up with this guy, Manny, I believe, at a Starbucks where he orders, I thought this drink order was kind of funny, uh, a double cappuccino wet two Splenda mixed in. What does wet mean? If you know what that means, drop a comment below. But this whole Starbucks meeting was about Martin trying to transfer over some emails to his current email situation. And she's trying to say that he is taking his flow emails and merging them with his Rockfin stuff, which he says that is very not true. And he wants to make that very clear on the record that that is not true. I think what happened is he didn't want to start a new Google user profile and he wanted to be able to sign into all of his different separate emails under the same user profile. Karen could not comprehend that. And when you're talking with a tech guy like Martin, this guy was running laps around her. He was swimming miles and miles around her. And she was so flustered that she just didn't even know which way was up. She was trying to say, well, this connection, this connection. He goes, what are you talking about? She got shut down fast. This lady swam to deep waters and she didn't have a life jacket. And he said, God, why didn't you save me? And God said, I sent you two big boats, you dummy. <laughs> And Martin kept driving the boat around her with more waves and more waves. And we just saw her sink and sink and sink. And so the next thing that they talk about is these sponsored ads that Rockfin would put on. The sponsored ads 
that we would see. Basically, they're trying to say that Rockfin is sponsoring these ads for Willie using Flow Wrestling's intellectual property IP for those wondering. And Martin says that's totally not true. And this, I think, was the dagger. This is where I think Karen realized she didn't have a life jacket. Martin gives her a, a little bit of a lesson on the internet. And you guys ever Googled something and next thing you know, you're getting ads for those things? Well, when you're buying an ad on Facebook, you can target those audiences. So if you search something on Facebook, next thing you know, you're going to keep getting ads for whatever you searched. And Rockfin must have used the keyword flow wrestling to sponsor their ads, which makes sense, right? That's your audience, wrestling fans. So Karen thought that meant they were targeting flow subscribers. And that's totally different. You can follow Flow Wrestling on Facebook, but not pay for their services. Were they targeting that audience? Yes. Were they targeting their subscribers? No. It's totally different. When you put an ad up on Facebook, you target a specific audience. Just like a video. When I put a video up on YouTube, I can put in the tags things that I think are going to get searched a lot relating to my specific content. That is not illegal. That's just internet marketing 101. If you've ever bought a Facebook ad or put up a video on YouTube, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so that's why people who have never searched Rockfin or never subscribed to Rockfin or never been on their website get ads from Rockfin because they follow flow. They're not, might not be subscribers, but they follow them. And so they're targeting those people not necessarily saying, hey, leave Flow and come to Rockfin. They're saying, hey, if you like Flow, you might also like us over here. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Again, I'm not a legal expert, so I don't know the, you know, the intricacies of this injunction and whatnot. That's just my personal opinion. In conclusion, I think Judge Livingston is tired of this case. I think she thinks this internet stuff is a waste of her time. Today, she had zero patience. Martin was the final boss. He comes in. He picked everybody apart. I think Livingston noticed that. Matter of fact, there's one time where she kind of laughed at something that he said because she knew that this guy was smart. I don't know why, from the jump, we didn't have Karen on one side and Martin on the other side, Livingston in the middle, and just let them duke it out. I would pay for a Rockfin subscription if I got to see that once a month. If I got to see Martin tear apart these lawyers every week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Peace.